Here, just outside Thursk in North Yorkshire, work is underway on a bridge rebuilding and road widening project in Dalton. It's a routine project and the steel pipes being used were originally milled for another application. However, these projects were certainly not routine. They were some of this country's most high-profile construction projects in recent years. In every case, the steel pipes used were surplus stock, supplied to the developers by Cleveland Steel and Tubes Limited, a specialist supplier of steel pipes procured from other sources, mainly oil field applications and gas sector projects. All of the surplus materials would typically be back into the furnace or they're offered to industries like ours. They can't go back to oil and gas because there's a highly unlikely there's a requirement for further material in that size. Within a sensible time frame, we hold material for tens of years in some cases. We're using surplus stock mainly for cost benefit. Surplus stock is obviously much cheaper than going for primary steel and with margins as tight as they are in the construction industry, anywhere we can save money, we will. Cleveland Steel also supplied 2,500 tonnes of surplus stock for the construction of the Olympic Stadium for the 2012 Games, helping the Olympic Development Agency keep its promise of delivering the greenest ever Games. And this is the key to Cleveland Steel's success. With so much emphasis now on protecting the environment, developers of construction projects require surplus steel to reduce embodied carbon. Reusing surplus steel rather than sending it to the furnace to be re-smelted means that batch of steel has a significantly reduced carbon footprint. For us as coffee construction and many of the construction companies is to reduce the carbon footprint of any job we do. You know, construction is a very high carbon uh, industry uh, you know, with, with concrete and, and reinforcement steel which are all primary products. So wherever we can save uh, then we will do. CST are doing a great job on remanufacturing and refurbishing steel tubes, but the construction sector's still got a long way to go in really incorporating the benefits that these things bring. Reducing carbon emissions, reducing the supply chain emissions, also resilience. You've got a good local supply in the UK here that you can easily use in the construction sector. But the architects, the civil and structural engineers, and the people who procure in these big construction projects really need to understand the benefits and open their minds to the to specifications that these products offer. But despite being one of the leading resellers of surplus and downgrade pipe in the UK, with a stock of over 65,000 tonnes in 100 acres of storage space in North Yorkshire, Cleveland Steel has had to overcome challenges to survive, not least the muddled thinking of the EU. The EU are very much in favour of sustainability. There are lots of regulations in regards of that. Unfortunately, the construction products side of things don't seem to recognise the benefit of reused steel in the sustainability environment. It's by allying itself to the green lobby that Cleveland Steel sees a path to a successful future. It sells about 14,000 tonnes of steel per annum, all of it a greener, cheaper alternative. But it's also evolved its services and is now offering to customers cutting, recoating, welding, shot blasting and testing. I joined the business nearly 30 years ago and we just loaded pipes on trailers. Now we're actually processing, adding additional services to 95% of what we sell. Often we're being asked to supply things in two or three weeks before commencement. They have to have the items there ready to use. They don't have the time for anything else. So we have the stock on the ground, which means we can offer an immediate solution and we can provide the services that mean what you get is the product that you want to use. In 40 years, Cleveland Steel has grown from nothing to a turnover of £10 million while it set up a network of subsidiaries with other family members around the world that now turns over in excess of £350 million. At a time of general pessimism in the UK steel industry, with job cuts all over the country, Cleveland Steel offers more than just a beacon of hope. <laughs>